thank you so much uh, for for being here. I, I have uh, I have many questions to ask about this. I, uh, uh, two years ago, uh, you were you were in high school, right? Graduating high school? I I I graduated in in the spring of 2020. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't really graduate. Wow. So you didn't know? I guess. Yeah. Well. Well, I mean, it's 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 COVID. So. Yes. <laughs> it, it it was very anticlimactic. Yeah, for and, a lot of kids. Yeah. Oh man, but uh, yeah, I, I shortly after that I got into like a few. Uh, I auditioned for like a few theater schools and drama programs, and um, I got in. But doing theater in front of a computer for a year seemed horrible. So I didn't go. <laughs> yeah. I put a year off and instead did nothing for a year. You did nothing for a year. Which was still horrible. Yeah. But, uh, and then you then then you end up a lead in a Steven Spielberg movie. <laughs> and you go, yeah. So keep, don't stop believing everybody, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so then now you're auditioning, now you're kind of working with, um, you're not auditioning, you get the part, Steven Spielberg's directing you and he goes, and uh, action, and you're doing him in front of him. Yeah. I would just run out of the building. That's, it's, it, it was nerve wracking. Yeah, it must it be. was spooky, you know, but. Um, oh boy, oh boy, yeah. that must be pressure right there. Oh yeah, but um, I mean, it's such a loving set and, and everyone was so, so lovely. So. Paul Dano, you, I mean, oh, what a yeah. cast. Yeah. And Michelle Williams, I mean, just like, did you get, yeah. did they give you advice or they were, were, you, I, were you cool? I, um, I asked them every once in a while. I, I remember I'd, I'd go up to Paul, I'm like, how do you like get into this? How do you work up to this? Or how do you do something like this, this emotional? And he'd be like. <laughs> and then, and there That's was one. The advice? <laughs> that was the advice. Wow. There was one day where Michelle, in the scene in the movie, it's cut down, so you don't see so much of it. But there's one day where she's just sobbing the whole day, like 14 hours. It's on action, she's sobbing, on cut she gets up and she's like hydrating, I guess, but she was doing that the whole day. And it's like so powerful and so intense because it's real the whole day. And the next day she's back to normal. And I remember I'm sitting in like cast holding and she, you know she's like reading her script and I'm like in my chair like looking at her like, how did you, how did, how did you do that? And she's like, she has like a water bottle and she's like, I don't know. <laughs> so you're not getting any advice from these great actors who go, someone give me advice. Yeah. I want to do what you're doing. Yeah. But then they probably watch you and they go, oh, I want advice from you because you crushed it, buddy. Well, thank you. You thank did you a great much. job. Thank you. You were fantastic. Thank you so much. Was there a... Uh, I mean, there's so many tough scenes. There's many funny scenes. Uh, you got punched in the nose. Uh, yeah. That was a, that was a interesting scene. Was that one of your first action scenes? Um, I guess it's action, action around me. But um, getting punched in the yeah, but getting punched is I mean action. But yes, that's being. actually me involved in the action. Yeah. Yeah. And, I heard, and Seth Rogen, I know, who's also in the movie. He's great. Uh, oh, yeah. He was not in the scene, but he was there watching. Yeah, like that was the first. So. There's a scene, it's in the trailer, so I'm not spoiling anything. I get punched in the nose, and it's emotional, it's intense, and, you know, there's a stunt, and there's extras, and there's a mat you have to fall down on, and there's blood, and it's very technical, and it's emotional. And normally, Steven does, like, four takes, but we're doing, like, 12. And I'm thinking, like, something's, something's not right, and I'm trying to stay in it, but it's like, okay, something, is it me, is it me? And so I get up, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to ask him, and my head's down, I'm trying to stay in it. Like, what's going on? What's going on? I round the corner, and I see, like, Video Village is all there. I look up, and it's Seth Rogen, like, sitting in a yellow, bright yellow T-shirt in the monitor. I'm like, nope, nope, can't, nope, not right now. Like, I can't meet him like this. Like, no way. Yeah, because he's one of your heroes? He is. So we're both from Vancouver. There you and go. Seth is a Vancouver icon. He was the voice of our SkyTrain for a long time. <laughs> um... And, <laughs> and wow, you, you'd be, amazing! Wow. You'd be sitting there you'd to be, meet that, to meet the voice of the sky train. Unbel <laughs> unbelievable! You'd be sitting there, like on your phone, and it's like, doom, 
high. And you're like, okay. And <laughs> That's a pretty good high yeah. Seth Rogen. And, yeah, I like um, that. I'm not a high Seth Rogen, but a <laughs> high from Seth Rogen, yeah. It's a high from a high, high Seth, Seth Rogen. Rogen. Yeah, it's a high um, from a high, yeah. But uh, yeah, and they named the octopus of the aquarium after him. They named it Seth Rogen, as in cephalopod. And um, what? <laughs> Can't they just give him a star or yeah. something? Just give <laughs> and, anything, yeah. And so, but yeah, I mean, the impact he has on Vancouver teenagers is, and me and my friends, it's like religious. And yeah. so when I got cast and I was telling my friends about it for the first time, I was like, it's a Steven Spielberg movie. They're like, uh-huh. And I'm like, and Paul Dano and Michelle Williams are in it. They're like, uh-huh. And I'm like, and Seth Rogen. They're like, Seth Rogen. <laughs> and You're like, bigger than Steven Spielberg? Seth Rogen? Like, it's, he's the voice of our tram system. <laughs> Yeah, but um, it actually, when I finished shooting and I saw my friends for the first time, like over Christmas break, they like came up to me and they're like, did you like smoke with him? <laughs> <laughs> and I was, and like, no, I'm working. And they're like, ah! Oh! <laughs> yeah, you they're missed like, it! Oh, yeah. You missed it, yeah! <laughs> uh, uh, is there anything, uh, how do we set up the movie for anyone, uh, The Fablemans? Um, the Fablemans is a story about Steven Spielberg's upbringing and pretty much everything that happens to my character, Sammy, happened to Steven. And um, it's about his family, about how he fell in love with cinema. Yep. Um, I've seen this movie like four times in packed audiences and it has, it has an effect on people. And that's, I'll just say that. Yeah. It's really good. special. Uh, I want to show a clip. Here's Gabriel LaBelle in The Fablemans. Take a look. A hundred dollars for a hobby? It's not a hobby, Dad. If you spent half the time on algebra that you algebra. spend on these movies, I hate you could algebra. Get... Why are you? <laughs> it's completely pointless. Not if you want to make something. It's not pointless. Geez, Sammy, when I was a boy, I always used to think somebody figured out how to make this. Yeah. This car, that rearview mirror, that directional signal. I want to make movies, though. That's right. I want to make movies. <laughs> Gabriel LaBelle, everybody. You're fantastic in this. The Fablemans is in theaters now. We'll be right back with the performance from Manuel Torizo. Stick around, everybody. Hey, hey.